Okay, so just a little bit of behind the scenes action. It's actually chaos everywhere. Uh, I got here a couple of hours ago, so I'm at my business club and we have just done about an hour, a bit over an hour of face to camera where I've done some recording talking about my book. And I'm excited to share those videos with you because like I lost my train of thought so many times because I was trying to think too far ahead, but I think there's some really good stuff in there. So that's what I've been doing. We have this amazing feature here. We've got to drag that out there now. Um, Dylan is behind the camera and he's going to be following us around and you'll get to see the book cake. You'll get to see all the other bits and pieces and join us as we have a couple of drinks and a few nibbles and just catch up. It's a very intimate event. Um, I'm very introverted and like I shine online, but in person, you know, give me a room of a thousand people to speak in front of, I can do it, no problem. You know, and I think that comes back to my Taekwondo days. You know, I've taught classes for many people and I'm quite confident being up front and talking, but when something's about me and when I'm in a small group, I find it really challenging. <laughs> So I've kept it really small. I've got some clients coming. I've got some friends coming. My kids are gonna be here. Um, it's gonna be really lovely. I feel like um, it's only actually been until this morning that I've been okay with having a book launch party. I've just felt so overwhelmed by it, to be honest, it's so weird. Um, but now it's happening. I feel really excited about it. So the people will be here in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go out, make sure that the girls have got everything settled where they want to have it. We're just a few last minute things about well, where we're going to put this and a few other things. Um, and then I'm going to have a glass of champagne so I can calm the hell down and then it's going to be all fun from here. So uh, come and enjoy. So this is my son and my daughter. Sorry. Be more awkward. <laughs> well, we're just going to hang out and have a drink. And... Firstly, I want to say thank you everybody for taking the time and energy. You know this was a challenge for me in every way. I am very comfortable in front of a Zoom lens and doing my online stuff and helping people and being there to support other people and it's not, it's not easy for me to... My God, it's not easy for me to let people support me. So yeah, it's been really, it's been a really lovely day, and I knew who was coming, and some people unfortunately couldn't make it at the last minute. But it's been so amazing to have people here that I know and love, and who love me back, and and my children, of course. You know, for the first time, I didn't uh, dedicate a book to you guys. I dedicated this book to coaches. You're amazing humans, and oh my God. <laughs> It's an amazing industry. The people in it are amazing. You mean the world to me. Thank you. Oh my God. But honestly, this book has been a labor of love. It's, it's 30 years. Actually, Maureen was one of the trainers on my coaching training all those years ago. Yeah, and so everything that I've learned before then and since then has is in that book. And if you like trying to condense a lot into a little, it's actually harder than it looks. It's like that nude makeup look that everybody thinks, oh, that's effortless and it takes like a lot. It's like that. It's, it's, it's taken a lot to refine it and make it very simplified so that you guys can just pick it up. Those of you that are coaches can just pick it up, read it, implement the shit that I say and do it like in a timely manner and uh, you'll get the result. And one of the things that I was saying earlier, this is a, spe this is a real speech, isn't it? This is the one. Yeah. Um, so when I was filming before, one of the things that um, I was talking about is the coaching industry is by 2027 it'll be a trillion dollar industry, but 5% of coaches are making the money. 95% of coaches will never make enough money to support themselves from coaching alone. That's fucked up. Like it's not working. So. 
they come out of coaching training and they have this idea, even David Rock's training, like this is how you sell it and this is how you do a discovery call and it, it messes with you and it gets in the way of your natural skills. And so I'm really committed to, and I'm hope, I just want to see this book rip through the industry. So if you can help me do that, if you can be showing photos of it, tag me in it, you know, tell your coaching friends about it, because I want to see that 95% that are not earning, I want that number to move. And I can do that. I can do that if we get enough eyes on it, if we can get it out there. So I would very much appreciate you getting it out there as much as you can. I know I'm going to, and I, I know it's gonna have an impact. I'm so proud of it. Every other book I've written has been 30,000 words in 30 days. It's done, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, it's out there. And then I'm like awkward about it because my photo's on the cover and I don't really remember anything I wrote, right? And it's like, oh, well, it's done. I could tick the box on that. This has been 16 months of writing and then deleting and writing and deleting and writing and deleting and just really thinking about the reader and who that reader is and what I want them to gain from reading this book. And I'm, this is for the people who, who can't afford me because I'm very fucking expensive. Like it's for those people who can't afford me and for the people, I just want to have impact across the globe and it's not about me like this isn't about me this is about this book and it's about getting it out there to as many people as possible so that honestly that that number moves because it's not good enough coaches are good people they do good work they change the world and they need to be compensated for it and they're not being you know because they don't have the tools they don't have the resources they don't have the information they need it's actually a very simple process to be successful as a coach but there's so much information out there that overwhelms people. And there's a lot of crap out there as well. And there's no reference point for what success is and what success is not. And I wanna be the difference. I wanna be that when somebody picks up a book and they spend 20 bucks on a book, they use it. And I'm very fucking funny in that book. Like, honestly, <laughs> aside from like the strategy, I'm hilarious, so you gotta read that. And I want it to be entertaining. I want it to be consumed very easily because I want the time in the book spent on application of the strategy. And I think it's, I think I've nailed it. I really do and I don't say that very often, but I feel like I've nailed it. And I just, yeah, want to see it do so well because I just, I know the impact that it'll have. So that was a better speech than the first one, wasn't it? This is red velvet. So it's red velvet. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> well, that's it. That's a wrap. It's been emotional. It's been uh, like a really big deal for me to do something like this, but it's been so amazing to have the people here that mean something to me. I've got clients here. I've got friends here. I've got family here. It's been amazing and I'm going to enjoy a wine and that's a wrap. So thank you for following us. Um, make sure you get the book and let me know what you think. <laughs>